buttons. Buttons can be used for lots of cool things in Power BI. My favorite I would like to show you now. Now I know you can use them to use with bookmarks so you can toggle which visualization you want to see on a page in a report. What I like to do with buttons is to use them to bring certain visualizations to pop to the front of the report. The cool thing about this is, is that it can make the report more accessible, which is always a good thing, but also allows the report to be used in, in meetings in a slightly easier way. And this will also kind of stop users sometimes asking for the report to be exported into like a PowerPoint presentation or taking screenshots, which is a horrific thing to do. Um, so yeah, what am I talking about? It's this button here, which I have called in this example presentation. So I have a visualize it, um, a page, sorry, with four visualizations. So it's not a busy page. I have four main visualizations. But if I know, for example, in this situation, this report, they're going to discuss it in a certain meeting and they're going to discuss certain metrics. And I want everyone to be able to see those metrics without having to like strain or be distracted by other things. What I like to do is create a button like this and it brings one main visualization forward. So if I have a discussion and we're discussing this metric, I can click on this button and this pops up. Also, I have more buttons that pop up with it. And now I can choose by click on this one, my next visualization comes, this one, and the next visualization comes. So it's really very, very clear at this point, all the values, what we're looking at. No one's kind of like looking down for this one, for example, would be this one here. So no one's like looking down at the bottom of the page or kind of unclear as to where we are in our meeting or what we're discussing. And it just, just makes it a nicer, clearer thing to look at. You know, um, yeah, so this is what I like to do to just give, make that report a little bit more flexible for the user. Um, it's very easy to do, as I said, buttons, bookmarks. So if we go now to a, a PBX file, I don't want to take you through everything because, you know, buttons and bookmarks, they're pretty standard, um, functionality within Power BI. Um, uh, but I will show you one or two things just to kind of, show you how it's done, right? So roughly the first thing I like to do is maybe sort when I showed you the visualization, um, on just before when I showed you this, for example, is this, I'm not just bringing this visualization forward. I'm kind of fading out the ones behind and it's really easy to do. It's a, it's a nice thing because it really adds something. Um, and it makes again, very much stand out what you're looking at. And that's really simple. All you've got to do is going to add a, um, a shape. So in this case, a rectangle and then just drag it across big rectangle all across the page. I would always remove the line, but of course you don't have to. I'm going to um, take off the fill and on the background, set it to like 30%. And then all of a sudden it's clear what I've done, right? Just create a big rectangle in the front of my page. I'll take one visualization. I'll copy it and I'll paste it. And there you pretty much see what I've done from there. So the buttons across the top, of course, I added a button. I'll just add one. So I'm not going to add all four of them. It's pretty clear again from there. So I've got my button. And from that, I can just create a bookmark. So I'll call it add a bookmark. When I use bookmarks, by the way, I never click on these ellipses. I'll always right click because if you click, if you just miss them, you can accidentally activate the bookmark, which can get really annoying. So right click, remove data because I don't want it to change any filters that they may have already applied. Um, give it a name, whatever, Demp pop up. And, uh, yeah, that's what I have. Of course, I'll then have to create a bookmark for my standard view. So I'll just remove I click on this and it shows you what I need to not show. So this one, and then this one, and then this one. And now I add one and I'll just call that something like standard. 
and again, no data. So now I have two bookmarks. So I can make this one, my initial button, action bookmark is a temper pop-up. And then hopefully when I click on it, that's what I get. So now I have my initial setup of what I want to do. I have my background. I have one visualization and one button. Of course, you can do whatever you want. You can include the, um, the filters as well. So for in this case, if I only had one button, I would make this, of course, the action would be to go back to the main screen, which is standard. So I could include if I wanted the slices, of course, so you don't have to just go here and then, you know, if you want to apply slices, have to go back. If you know in that situation, they're going to use the slices, then of course, add the slices as part of the bookmarks. Small things like making the, um, the, uh, the data labels a bit bigger because yeah, I now have a bigger visualization, that sort of stuff. Bigger, not smaller. Try that. So yeah, that's it. That's what I had, but I just did, did a few more. So I have one pop-up. So when you look at it on the screen, it looks nice and big, and then the users can click back and they go to your standard view. Very um, simple for me, I find very helpful. And um, it's even sometimes if you're at your desk and you want to analyze certain figures and look at them for a little bit longer, it's nicer to be able to really um, pop them out like that um, than to have a look at them kind of like down and focus more here. I do know, of course, that you have the option within Power BI to, to use these headers like that. I don't like them. <laughs> um, I, I tend to switch the headers off anyway on my reports because I, I just don't like, as you can see here, I've got them all switched off the headers. I really don't like the, the experience of using the, um, the headers in Power BI. Um, and when you do use them, I don't like the, the, this interaction thing back to the report. So, and I also think it looks a little bit sleeker. I know it's just a thing. It just looks cooler, but I think honestly, it just looks a little bit sleeker to have this functionality, um, like that. It kind of just feels like a more enjoyable experience for the user than using this, um, this, this header. I would much rather switch the header off and build that myself than to actually use the header and report. So it's really a very, very personal thing, what you prefer, what you want to um, spend your time doing, of course, because that it does involve time. Um, but yeah, if you want to do it, that's how you do it. And um, yeah, I hope you get something from that. Maybe, you know, take it away, make it a little bit cooler. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and like the idea. And of course, as ever, feel free to give me feedback, positive or negative. Um, thank you very much and goodbye.